So this video is going to show you how to set up 301 redirects for, um, Word, for WordPress site using the redirection plugin. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is actually install the, the redirection plugin. Uh, we're going to log into the back end of the website, go to plugins, check to see whether it actually is already installed on the website. Um, it is not, so we're going to go to add new. And it is in the re in the um, redirection, so it is it is in the repository. So it's that first one right there. So while that is installing and we're getting ready to activate it, uh, we're going to go over to uh, a spreadsheet. We're going to set up a, a spreadsheet where we're going to have the source and the new URL. We're going to make, we're going to give this some space too so that we can actually fit the, the um, URL in there. So basically we, we redesigned this website here and when we did we lost some of the uh, permalink structures. I'm actually going to give this a little bit more space right here. So you'll see if we go for example to the t-shirts page on the uh, on the old website, the permalink ended in when you to go to the t-shirts page, it was t hyphen shirts. On the new website, we have multiple t-shirts pages. So if you go, for example, to t-shirts adult, you'll see that now it ends in product uh, in product slash t-shirts. So what we're gonna do is take the ending of this, just the, the, the relative path, uh, we don't need to put the entire URL in, and I'm going to put that right there with the, with the slash on the end as well. And then in the second column, I'm going to put what the new live URL is. Uh, then we're going to just have to do this for a few of them. Um, if we go to, like for example, the promotional products page, we're going to find the same thing. I'm going to grab this link, put this in the in the first column, and in the second column go to the new URL. And I'm going to copy that in the same spot, throw it right there. Okay, so once, we, actually I'm going to grab the entire thing. So once we have the entire new, once we have the entire list here, I'm going to export this as a CSV. download as CSV and I'm going to go back to the website, to the live website, go to the redirection plugin which should be under tools. Start setup. Um, I don't want us to keep a log of the redirection for four hours. Sometimes that can be um, that can be problematic when it comes to just filling up the database. So leave these unchecked. I'm going to continue the setup and finish the setup. Okay, click on finished and we're going to import export and basically just add the CSV that I downloaded, which is right here, redirects. We're going to move it to redirections. We're not going to set this modified posts. Upload. Okay, and to check whether it actually worked or not, we're going to go to, go back to the redirects. And we should have a list of what what we got here. So you'll see that it actually added the top of the of the table. So I'm, I'm going to delete that. And to see whether these are working or not, you click on check redirect. And uh, if you want to see if it actually works, you can click on the URL. And it should redirect to the new page, which I believe it is. I'm going to do the same thing here. If I click on t-shirts,
yes, it sent us to the correct page.